Hello, this is an endgame field test using the white mage as a tank, but we're trying to avoid knight for hundred percent or lionheart the accessory, and we're also trying to avoid double mantra, even though both of those things would really help this out. Um, now, just as a, a backup here, I do have double mantra on the monk with sentinel stacked up in case case I absolutely am getting my butt kicked and I want to survive but we're going to try to do this without the double mantra and um, may maybe we should uh, maybe we should do this first maybe we should go in fight a boss and then if we survive we'll come back out to the world map and uh, and then kind of explain the build it, it, just also knowing that this is not optimal for for white mage tanking but uh it, it's going to be just a we'll call it a proof of concept and just um we, we do have the bomb and skeleton curl for the spirit malboro we're going to go over this if this works out and if it doesn't work out you won't see the video being posted <laughs> so uh Let's see, is there a boss? Boss, 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 boss. Hmm. This feels like Kraken, which will suck. But we're going to try anyway. So we're going to intentionally avoid using Sentinel on the monk. And we're going to do maybe Sentinel on the white mage. Maybe, if I feel like it. Uh, it really depends. Please don't be Chaos Kraken. It's totally Chaos Kraken. I can feel it. I feel it. Did I mention I was on... Uh, nope, I haven't. I'm on an external hard drive right now, so things are going to take a lot longer to load. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. So how's life? How's, how's life treating you? Oh, that is good. That is good. Maybe it's not. I didn't actually listen to your answer just now. Why am I talking to a sh Okay, go. No, 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 no. <laughs> you jerk. No. Ow. <laughs> ah. Can't get crit. If I get crit, it's over. <gasps> we need to end the fight. And this is how we do it. Wow, that really hurts. Okay. Here, take a special bullet. Okay, let's get a reincarnation going. This is uh this is hurting. <laughs> I <clears throat> Ow. Whoop. 
Why do I keep saying that? Holy moly! Mommy! Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, it occurs to me I've never fought him on uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Was that an opening? <laughs> That's an opening, I guess. Okay, yeah. I'm intimidated. So, yeah, you win. You win, you jerk. I am intimidated. Take my special bullets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, let's back up a bit. Um, so we're going to do this in reverse. We're going to go over the Rift Monsters first. Um, and just know that there's better ways to do this, but we're, we're still going to at least go over what we use today or what... I uh, was here, and also I haven't posted in a while. Um, this is going to take, this loading is going to take a while. Great. Great. You know, Ben, you could edit this. N we could. We absolutely could. Dot, dot, dot in the Discord said, I had never seen a video editing software. <laughs> it's true. I haven't seen one. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so we're going to look at the uh, Astos. Just stare into his eyes for a little bit. And then we're going to uh, look at our monsters in the Rift. We have Bomb here for the Stamina. Look at me like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. We have Bomb here for the Stamina. Um... Uh, and then we have the skeleton here for stamina. But also just in case we panic and just need the guard, the guard break gauge depletion is pretty nice. And then damage taken from bosses. Unfortunately, that's not helping us because we already have enough near-death damage taken. But if we were below 60%, uh, that, would, that would help us. Uh, Coral, we have the spirit. Uh, and because we've used White Mage enough, we happen to benefit from White Mage Job Affinity for even more spirit. Great. Magic resistance. Uh, if our near-death damage taken was 80%, that could have helped us. But at this point, we are not getting any meaningful contribution from that. Malboro, we have her for the spirit. And if we didn't already have Paladin 400%, status ailment resistance would have been nice to have. I still need to work on Evoker, so you might see that down the line with our Golden Spirit buddy. And then we have the Soul Shield break cost, which I absolutely was benefiting from between that and Bravery to be able to Soul Shield things more consecutively. Is that a correct phrase? No, it's not. Probably not. And then we have Iron Giant here for uh, a few things. The HP, because we don't have very much HP on White Mage. The parry HP recovery, because I was using Samurai 600%. Uh, and then the max HP reduction, which, because I'm not using Sentinel, Runic Protection, Nightbringer, Utsemi, uh, I'm actually getting a hit. So the max HP reduction is going to help us. Speaking of which, we are drinking a high potion to get rid of that. See that little fuzzy purple thing at the bottom left on my HP bar gone away 
Also, let's look at our rift stats more or less. Uh, so in the rift, this is what we're looking at. And then we have uh, neon as a knight and ash as a liberator. Uh, because we're, we're, we're focusing on our physical defense over our magic defense because, well, the white mage gets average physical defense. But let's back up. Hold hold the phone, Ben. No, don't hold the phone. Uh, so we have, on the white mage, we have here, I, I was trying to get the 800%, but I, I ended up abandoning it so that I can get more stamina. So I can survive a physical hit without my allies and without those rift monsters. I probably will not be taking physical hits anywhere as good as I was. Um, so just kind of the heads up there. You know, if you're in co-op, uh, this, this is probably not the way you want to build to survive a physical hit. Uh, because your allies most likely will not be using Liberator 600% in co-op. Not always, but you know. Uh, I'm sorry, let me back up. So uh, I do have Samurai 600% here. Every time I trigger a combo ability effect, I also benefit from parry buffs. Uh, something that I had but I'm not really benefiting from is the Samurai 400% and the 250%. Those could have helped me out, except I did not invest in such a way to take advantage of those. So uh, the combo ability effect, sometimes you might have saw me go for two swings and a Divine Strike so that I trigger that Elemental Expert at the top center there. That's a combo ability effect. It has a... Uh, Next to the input on the left, it has a circle instead of a diamond shape. And sometimes you might have saw me try to go for this, this rare link and usually fail to do so. And started panicking and laughing like that guy from Zombieverse. Uh, next we have, uh, I didn't actually parry. Not really. Did I? Not, not this video. So those are combo ability links. Uh, uh, effects. Combo ability effects that trigger all of the parry MP recovery that I have. And in this case, I do have some master points uh, towards the bottom there, the, the third from the bottom, parry MP recovery to help out with the um, my offense, as well as uh, maybe fueling a, a reincarnate here and there. Uh, I do have Void Knight 600%. This this might seem like a little too much because as a White Mage, I could have casted Haste. I could have casted Protect and Shell. Uh, and the Protect and Shell that I cast is better than Berserker 250% for some reason. Thought they fixed that. Still there. Um, so I could cast all three of those spells, but if I get broken or dispelled or um, time runs on i i lose those buffs and and those are pretty handy so i i wanted the haste at all times but be as long as my my mp was over 400 and then thanks to the near death 400 percent and berserker 250 percent i'm getting protect and a, a form of protect and shell while i'm near death but on top of that Berserker 120% and 50%. I refill my break gauge when I hit the enemy or if I cast a spell. Um, and, and without Lightbringer, that was very important. And next, I have the Mage 400% to help out with offense, but also because I want an access to more holy moves or spirit uh, combo abilities. Like, I think penitence and prominence but uh i i don't think i use those too much but i did use them though uh and then i have paladin 400 percent because i'm trying to free up space on my gear for other effects to uh so paladin 400 percent to avoid silence paralysis petrification and slow pardon me and 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 on this route especially curse because curse resistance as you might know uh, from me hounding on it, does not work in this game. And then the monk, uh, I really had the monk for the 120% and the f uh, the 50% just to get more break. But the 250% was nice to double the effects of, of parrying. And then across my gear, I had damage dealt mace combo abilities, 
uh, and and spirit to to help out on the offense side because all my combo abilities are stat bonus spirit or some form of that. And then I have stamina to survive a physical hit and help out with the break gauge uh, when I do get hit. And uh, also to reduce the, the cost of a successful soul shield, e even though soul shield break cost is, is better for that at this point, but it still helped. Uh, break damage taken, uh, that in case I, I got hit, uh, mostly from the front, because if I get hit from the back, it's a critical hit. My agility is really low, and I'm just going to break, especially on these bosses. Um, I do have Alexander across most of my gear to bring out more stamina and spirit. Uh, it doesn't bring out as much spirit as Phoenix, but it does bring out a good chunk of spirit, and it does bring out the most stamina across your jobs, uh, even though White Mage only gets average stamina. Uh, I do have charge time reduction white magic and things like MP cost white magic and uh, MP cost, whoops, not that one, MP cost mace combo ability to try to keep my costs down and also be able to try to cast reincarnate. Ideally, I should have been buffing my allies with stuff. Pardon me, but I did not. Uh, and then some other things I have are break because uh, we're, we're not using Lightbringer as often, or in this case, I was using Dimension Bringer. Uh, so the break was there in case we run into max break gauge trials, and then we're cut down to like six, 700 break. And uh, the hope there is that we don't get broken as easily. We also have near-death damage taken because uh, we do get hit, and we're not always gonna be at max HP. Even though I could have used Sentinel to, to make this tankier. Um, crap, I am so sorry. This video is now long just because I'm la lawning <laughs> and yawning and loading. Uh, Near-death damage taken. Uh, trying to get that to minus 100% so that you cut the damage that you take in half as long as you're near death. And thanks to Dark Knight 400%, we are near death. Or at least the game thinks we are at all times. And we are, because we're, we're only a few hits away from death. And then, uh, just yeah, just kind of flashing through the rest of my gear. Trying to get that damage dealt mace combo ability to help out. Uh, the accessory for now, we have Mantra, which is Monk 400%. You get 50% of your max HP added to your score. Um, although, max HP trials does hurt that, so... Um, it is what it is. Uh, Mace, I, I had just a few different... Uh, for the most part, all of them are status bonus, stat bonus spirit in some way, shape, or form. Uh, it's already been a while since I last tested these to see which one does the most break damage. But for some reason, I feel like, why did I gravitate towards penitence? Is that because I knew it was going to be good or is that just because it's on my mace and I thought eh um provoke is there in case I do get hit that's a multiplicative damage reduction it's in a separate bucket than um protect and shell and all the damage taken across your gear the sentinel uh this is ideally how I'd want to 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 add the layer of protection on this uh, bravery was here because lunatic is an issue for me defensively when the enemy is attacking as frequently as they did earlier in this video. Uh, so the bravery is kind of helping out with the, uh, the break gauge recovery and crap. I need to finish this. I am so sorry. Uh, dementia bringer is here because at times I do want to end the fight. I don't want it to drag on much longer than it did. And uh, I, I wasn't doing too well, and I would have had to have drunk, drank a high potion or a, a mega potion to try to win that fight. Maybe, maybe even two. Also, I was gimping myself by intentionally not using regular Lightbringer or Sentinel, which both would have really helped. 
Uh, now on the monk, I have that set up for the infinite Lightbringer spam. I call it infinite, or sorry, I wasn't calling it infinite, but I, I think a lot of people keep calling it infinite, and so now I am too. Um, but we, we didn't really take advantage of that other than like the two Dimension Bringers. And just, just for reference, that's Cyclic Warrior 600%. Every time you do a Lightbringer or Dimension Bringer, or Chaos Bringer for that matter, uh, you trigger a Soul Shield. Uh, or you trigger the benefits of a Soul Shield. And thanks to Void Knight 120% and 50%, you get more max MP when you Soul Shield. And thanks to an undocumented uh, feature, of evoker 120% and 50% uh, when you soul shield through cyclic warrior 600% Jack gains max MP uh, now there's nowhere that says that it does that but it does that and I did report it twice and uh, it's been a year so uh, it's a feature uh, Let's see, and then Void Knight 400% is here to reduce the amount of MP lost from Lightbringer or Dimension Bringer. And then we have the Leviathan Primary Blessing. It's on one piece of gear so that you recover a bit more MP and more max MP on a successful Soul Shield. And then the other part here is, um, like, towards the bottom of this, there's, like, uh, like six options up or six lines up it says increase MP limit boost rate that's from our master points and that recovers even more max MP when you soul shield to try to balance out the cost of a light bringer or a dimension bringer um, some other things that were on this job were summoner 600% which doubles the effect of Leviathan's uh, max MP build uh, building and also MP recovery, so just just the Leviathan contribution, which is nice. Um, pardon me. And if I really was going for it, I would have been spamming Dimension Bringer or Light Bringer more often, so that I could refresh my buff durations just a little bit every time I do a Soul Shield. And then just in case I do have Paladin 400%, so that I don't get cursed or petrified, silenced or uh, paralyzed while I'm on the monk. And then, uh, I didn't really use it this round, but Monk 400% increases my max HP. Combine that with Muscle Belt, which is the only accessory that seems to stack with its 400% counterpart. So now I'm getting 100% uh, max HP instead of like 50% times 50% or 1.5. Uh, this is 100% this is max HP, which would directly counter a max HP trial or in this case, really boost our max HP. Uh, I have Gambler 120% and 50% just in case I do decide to chain cancel, as well as Summoner 120% and 50% so that I can build max MP on the world map. Um, the Gambler helping out with regular MP based on my luck, except that my luck is really low, and so I will probably run out of MP before I take advantage of that. Pardon me, oh my gosh. Across my gear, I have improved effect Sentinel um, for defensive purposes that I did not use. Improved effect Focus to boost my break damage even further. I'm sorry, why did we pick Monk? It's because of Monk Master. Uh, even though Supercharge or Focus says that it only does break damage, that's also regular damage too. So... Uh, but the route that we benefited from was the break damage. Uh, so 60% to 120% break damage before getting, oops, before getting any improved effect focus, depending on how much you charge. And then the improved effect focus going even further and multiplying that so that um, we, we can finish fights in a timely manner. I have Lightbringer Duration across all my pieces of gear. I have HP across all pieces of gear. I have Titan that brings out the most HP out of your jobs uh, to try to help out with Sentinel even further. I am so sorry. <clears throat> am I though? Am I? You should edit this, Ben. Uh, and then I have Luck stacked up. No, I don't. And then I have Buff Duration stacked up. 
so that I don't have to recast my buffs as often if I use that from the monk. At one point, I did have my luck stacked up. Uh, I do have MP cost focus at the time because I think I just, like, I don't have anything else to put on here. And that's not true now, but it was when I fused that together. I do have one piece of gear that's Leviathan. I do have charge time reduction focus because this time I don't have Red Mage to 50% to reduce the charge time. Um, and then we have our... Let's go to Master Points first. Uh, we have our Master Points here. Where we have Stamina to survive those physical hits. Spirit to survive those magic hits. And also serve as our offense for a stat bonus spirit. We have White Mage. Um, trying to get more White Mage to get more spirit. But we didn't have very many Master Points left. And then... Um, we have parry MP recovery because we're using Samurai 600% and uh, to just try to get some MP flowing outside of regular soul shields. And then we have the soul shield break cost to, to help us out defensively and mostly because I, I end up soul shielding a lot because uh, face tanking still kind of hurts um, without Sentinel. Whoops. And then on the monk, we have for the Lightbringer spam. We have increased MP limit boost rate maxed out. If your job level's not 285 or so, you will lose max MP when you do the Lightbringer Dimension Bringer, but it won't be too much. Uh, we do have Lightbringer Duration to make those uh, Lightbringers or Dimension Bringers last longer. And then as a convenience, I have buff duration so that my Focus, Lunatic, and Provoke do last longer. Uh, and then to help out my Sentinel, I do have HP stacked up and Monk up to 400% in total. So 330% from Master Points, 80% from the Job Tree. And then for the remainder, I do have Luck to try to help out with, um, at least I think it's the remainder, to help out with Gambler 1, 20% and 50% since that restores MP based on a random amount, of, uh, randomly restores MP based on Luck. And then, uh, crap. And then, uh, we have on our allies, we have Neon on Knight because she gets the most stamina on Knight, and we're lacking in stamina. And so, uh, Neon is sharing 12% of her stats thanks to Liberator 600%. And then also, Liberator and Knight just squeezing that out across every piece of gear. Uh, Knight giving me a lot more stamina based on how much excess I have, like over 800% and beyond, and Liberator giving me a good chunk of stamina, and some spirit, if Knight got decent spirit. Um, I'm sorry, Liberator, 600% only if the allies stay alive, and they're staying alive thanks to Lionheart. If you press D-pad, left or right, direction pad, left or right, or if you're playing on the keyboard, the letters R or T, uh, your allies will become invincible for 20 to 60 seconds, depending on the dragon trials um, and, and gear. Uh, and so, Lightbringer duration that that is that that D pad left to right or the letters R and T that is affected by Lightbringer duration. So, the more you have, the longer they are invincible and stay alive. Pardon me. And then across their gear, they have Alexander for the most part even though Neon, for some reason, has one piece of Titan. And uh, they have Stamina and Spirit and Lightbringer Duration stacked up uh, so that they stay alive longer, and they're sharing 12% of their stats with me. Um, don't know why she has a damage taken instead of something else, but it is what it is. Uh, ideally... She would not have Lionheart. She might have Ribbon or some other thing that might benefit me. Because uh, because of Knight 400% on her gear, she doesn't need a Lionheart. I digress. This this could still use improvement. Um, and then Ash on Liberator, because I still want more stamina, but Liberator was a blend of stamina and spirit. So a lot of stamina, a good amount of spirit. And I am stacking, in this case, a bunch of Liberator 
and night. Why are we? Uh, the night to help out with the, the, the stamina part of things. And uh, same kind of deal across the gear. Some pieces, uh, we're not as worried about the two top pieces of gear as much, but um, like the damage dealt axe combo ability and the improved effect mighty guard, not so much worried about that. Um, but it's there because it's been a long time and they've been with me and so they deserve <laughs> to maybe smack something every once in a while. Oh yeah, so I don't know if I've actually blanked out without realizing it. I, I realize I have yawned. I'm sorry, Ben, wrapping up the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Rough idea, again, of, of a white mage tank at end game and how that might feel uh, if you control the monsters and control the NPCs that can be your stat sticks. Uh, but ideally, you'd still want to use Sentinel on the job that actually has the improved effect sentinel and all the HP stacked up. Uh, Cause that, that really would have helped like having an extra 30,000 HP as a buffer would have really helped. But yeah, I digress. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, maybe see you next time.